Hey everyone, so we're here uh, out on this lake bed looking for meteorites. Um, got here a little while ago, but I was excited, wanted to hunt. Haven't found anything yet, but been here for a little while. Um, you can kind of see the lake bed back there. I just wanted to show, the reason why we come to this lake bed in particular is you get these great lines of rocks. Um, and these form in the winter um, when you get a little bit of water in the lake. The lake is really flat. Um, a thin sheet of ice can form on it. Um, and then usually, I've been out here, usually about mid-morning as it starts to melt a little bit around the edges and around the rocks because they heat up sooner, uh, the ice starts to move. And it scrapes up all the rocks into these nice, tidy lines, um, kind of dense areas. And the meteorites get scraped along with all the other rocks out here. So you often don't have to walk very far to find meteorites. And yeah, it's a good way to hunt. So that's why we're here. Um, oh, Chris is not here because she had to go back to work. She's abroad at a research thing. Um, hey everyone, I'm in Germany. And I got COVID. So instead of exploring a new country and getting to do cool science with collaborators out there. I'm stuck in my Airbnb for the next few days. Just me and my noodle topf, which I think means noodle pot. My German's not that good. I think Fleischball engine uh, translates literally to flesh ball, which is a really weird but kind of accurate way of saying meatball. That's why she's not here. Um, don't have to worry, she's still alive. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's get to hunting. All right. Hmm. Where are you? Too grainy for this lake, probably. And no remnant crust. Some things that look like rust spots, but they're not right. Let's see what else. It's too smooth and black. Doesn't look right. It's funny, we really don't need a magnet much at this lake bed anymore. We've gotten pretty good at it. In fact, by looking at the different rocks, I could probably tell you which ones will stick to the magnet <laughs> uh, more than others. So there's that. That's too too rough. That's the basalty stuff. I got it. Yeah, see this? If you get it to reflect, you can kind of see the little crystals, the grains. So, uh, that would have stuck to the magnet a little bit. Uh, too rough on the smooth side. The would-be fusion crust is a light color brown like the inside, so that's... You can get some things like that are not here. It's, it's the wrong kind of weathering for that here. Um, I found some stones that weathered like that off of lake beds. But here would be different. It's different. All right, there we go. Um, a lot of old stuff out here. Sometimes you can read it, sometimes you can't. This one you kind of can. Uh, for drip or vacuum coffee maker. I guess there might be more text down here. But, yeah. That's easier to see in the video. Alright. Well, no manufacturer or anything. I don't know if you can date it, but it's old. Kind of cool. All right, there we go. So just walking along, the car is, oh God, it's somewhere there behind that bush. Can I zoom? It's over there. All right, and it's going through this field of rocks. Um, and this little guy stuck to the magnet pretty well. And he was just sitting on the surface, so whatever. But he's an oriented heat shield, but there's the front of it, there's the back of it, that he's broken. I don't know what the odds are of finding the rest of them, but it's pretty cool. 
Um, let's see how well he sticks. He sticks a lot more strongly in the magnet than most other rocks here. See? Really jumps up, really sticks. Um, oh, sorry, there you can see it in profile again, that heat shield. Just like an Apollo capsule. Really cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so sad, broken. Uh, I don't think we're going to find the rest of this one. Um, too many rocks out here. Uh, but let me put him back. I think he was... He was actually like that. Yeah, it looks like that matches up. Alright. So here's our first find. It's a cute little high iron chondrite. The front you can see is rounded. It has little bumps on it. The texture is due to metal grains uh, sticking out through the fusion crust. And then on the back here, there's this cool feature called a rollover lip. And that is molten rock, a little rim of it that formed as this thing was coming through the atmosphere. It was just kind of accumulating just on the back around the edge there. It doesn't go all the way around, but you can see that the back is kind of rougher than the front in general. That's because molten stuff was just kind of spattering onto the back. Pretty cool. All right, guys, well, there's the, the fine flag from the last one, and it's just coming along the rocks here. And lo and behold, there is a pretty brown rock. Um, it's kind of shinier and browner than most, a little bit of black stuff on this edge, and it is very magnetic. That guy's on a meter, so. Using the ice scraping stuff really helps. I don't know how much liquid we just hunted, but I doubt these things fell 20 feet apart. Possible, but doubtful. This also looks like a weathered fragment, so it's going to be a lot more round. It could just be a piece of the stone we've been finding through here, but it, it may have been a lot of stones. I don't know. Now they're all just pieces. Yeah, anyway, gotta go through the rest of this. Um, could be more. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna flag down and keep hunting for a little bit and do photos and keep going. All right. All right, guys, well, that was the last one we just looked at. And maybe five feet on is this little guy. And you can see the nice edge of fusion crust up. Very magnetic. He's still stuck in the lake. Um, see if there are more here but no, i'm pretty optimistic <laughs> yeah because we just we just walked a straight line so there should be more well hopefully there are more we'll, we'll see all right Alright, well after getting these guys back and taking a closer look, there are actually two different types of meteorites. Uh, find number two on the right there is a high iron chondrite, a little bit of fusion crust there at the top left, but just broken all around for the most part. Uh, find number three there on the left is a low iron chondrite, so they're, they're from different parent asteroids, um, different types of stuff. Um, on the broken side you can see find two that the high iron one again is pretty rusty, um, thoroughly stained through and through because it's high iron, it's been on Earth for a long time. Find three I don't think has been on Earth for as long. So the matrix is lighter in color, it's not as rust stained. Um, 
and it, the, the broken surface there is much more textured. I think that stone's more kind of friable. It's not as well consolidated. Um, but yeah, two totally different meteorites, five, ten feet apart. Pretty crazy. That's why the ice scraping stuff is so great. It really collects meteorites. It makes hunting pretty efficient. It's great. This thing. I hate this thing. Um, it looks pretty good color texture-wise. Super magnetic. But see, there's that pit there, the white spot. Put over. Yeah, it's full of bubbles. It's slag from the railroad over there. It's junk. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I don't want to see that again. I'm going to pick it up and put it with one of the flags so that I don't have to see it again. Yeah. That caught my heart going. <laughs> Oof. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep hunting. Alright. And here we have a little bit more slag. See some bubbles and then there are the bubbles there on that little side. And then the broken surfaces are they're kind of a rusty brown color, but they're also kind of iridescent gold. Weird. Alright, well, it's another good wrong, I'll be taking off the lake. Alright, anywho. Back to the rocks. This, okay, so I just picked this rock up. It's a great example. Um, so I zoom in there. I was thinking it looks like fusion crust, but isn't. So this rock is nice. I don't know if you can see the color well. It's brown on the inside, rusty brown. And see, it has like a black layer on the outside. It looks like fusion crust. Only trouble there is that see, it's also covering that chip, which is pretty smooth, which Fusion Crust wouldn't do. See that sharp edge there? Um, but yeah, just a good example of a rock that formed a weathering rind and then broke up more and broke up a little bit more. Looks like it has a nice black Fusion Crust, but doesn't. Um, this lake has a bit of stuff like this, and they suck, but good to recognize, good to see. There's a lot of the photos people post online, like, this is a meteorite, look at this crust on it. Not everything that looks like crust is crust. Um, this is just a pebble. Broke. Broke a few times and weathered. Alright. Well, more rocks. A lot of slag in here. But, that's fine. Can get through it. Alright. Alright, well. The three finds are just back there. And I went through this uh, bunch of slag. Ooh, I got a pocket full of slag. But this little guy down here. He. See that rough brown surface? The smooth black there on that side with a crack going through it. And the magnetism is pretty good. Definitely a meteorite. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, different type than the other ones. More porous. Um, anywho. We're in a good little band of rocks here, I guess. Stuff was cleared off the lake. Into this stuff. Makes sense. We're close to the other finds. This looks like a quarter of a stone. Maybe a, maybe a half a stone, something like that. So that's kind of cool. It's different. Um, and yeah, I'm seeing rocks all the way out there, so I guess I'll just go along here and see what happens. I guess something bigger would be nice. Yeah, something bigger might be nice. Uh, but we'll see what turns up. All right, well. That looks like cross, but it isn't. Just a, yeah, two mineral layers. Interesting. Yeah, there it is. So, I'll do a quick photos GPS and we'll see what's what. got pictures of this stone down here. Uh, at least I, I got most of them. Uh, I guess it's pretty hot today. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So 
Oh, it needs to cool down before you can use it. So, I think we're just gonna take a little breather here in the AC, get a cold drink. It is pretty hot out there. And, uh, see if the phone will come back. Keep it in the shade. Been keeping it in the shade, I don't know. So here's our fourth find. The broken surface looks even rougher than the last find, so it's even more porous stone, a little weird. Um, but after looking at the texture and the magnetism and everything, I'm pretty sure this is still just a low iron chondrite. Um, if you're familiar with meteorites, it would be more similar to something like Saratov that just has a high porosity. Um, fusion crust looks normal. Um, pretty little meteorite. Probably not gonna know too much more without cutting it. I mean, Four meteorites in a pretty short stretch. At least two different types, two different meteorites there. Um, I think the first three might all be the same, but I'm not 100% sure. I hate to take a closer look later, but the last one's definitely different. So, pretty decent mix, pretty dense. Um, but I haven't seen anything else in about as far, so... It looks like the strands kind of break off and go into the lake here. So I might try to follow them a little bit. Uh, the phone is still charging. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I am in relation to where other things that have been found. But given that we just found a bunch of meteorites, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there have to be more here, right? So um, I'll keep going for a little bit. The rocks here look good. A lot of junk blown up too. Like this weird lid. Uh, there's an old fireworks tube. Launcher. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, yeah, I'll wander around a bit more here and see what we can find. Alright. Until uh, later. There's an area I wanted to check out. Just different part of the lake. So I think we're gonna head over there. I'm um, gonna have a look around. Uh, times at four. Well, it's summer, so we got about four and a half hours of light left. Even though it's four, it's just not great light because the shadows are already getting long. It's it's hard to see color. But we can do it. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully something. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, just wanted to show you this thing. The color is so good. Um, it's got rust spots. It's got a smooth side. It looks like crust. But uh, it's not magnetic, which is bad. Um, and also it's got bubbles on this side. It's another piece of slag that made it this far out. So there's a molten surface, broken, broken. And uh, I don't know, if it had been magnetic, it would have been a little more excited, at least for a second. But it didn't do anything with that rust. It just doesn't make sense. Um, the iron must have been present as sulfides or something, not magnetic. It's still oxidizing though. Well. All right. Well, that was set. <sighs> Onwards. All right, color's good. Looks a little flat though. Yep. Uh, she metal. Trash. Uh, on. Uh. Huh. Hmm. Black River tumbled stone, too smooth. It looks like uh, that is so sad. Looks like great black fusion crust texture and a lighter insider. That's like agate stuff, and it's a vein of 
Who knows why? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> See, that could have been an achondrite. Already poked that. <laughs> Alright. I found one of these rills and just got this thing. You can see it's like half quartz. Um, they're like super strongly magnetic. More than most meteorites. It's gotta be magnetite or something. Uh, all right, well I got a big berm ahead of me and yeah, I'll uh, see if we find anything. Um, so, oh god, I was just coming along here this is 10 seconds ago. Oh, look at this thing. It's big too. Ugh, pretty darn magnetic. Um, oh, I got the phone um, on me. It's charged up. So let me get a close up and uh, yeah. Ugh. It's a really pretty rock. I think he has a broken corner. Maybe. Oh, he might actually be broken all along the bottom. I don't know how big he is. Um, a few of the ones out here have been set in. Others have just been sitting on the surface. So um, we'll have to find out. But that's um, that made my day. Uh, uh, all right. Um, uh, I gotta get. I gotta get a drink. Here's what I gotta get. Um, all right. I'm gonna go back to the car. I'll be back here. All right, guys. Well, I'm darn curious to see how big this thing is. Uh, let's do this together. Oh, he's a little stuck. Oh, totally broken on that side, though. Dang. It's probably 70 grams, I'd guess. Decent-sized rock. daylight. I'll do a little more. All right, so here's our fifth find for the day. Finally got a big one. Beautiful fusion crust. It's smooth because it's an alchondrite. You can see some rust spots, some little smooth patches in the fusion crust, little round things. Those are chondrules. Broken side. We still haven't washed this stone, actually. So here it's covered in clay. You can see that there are some rusty spots where the clay has kind of been cemented to it with rust. That's pretty typical. Looks like a L6, probably. A really common type of meteorite, but a pretty stone. All right, well, something a little different. So the meteorite's are just over there by the car. Uh, there's a really nice berm over here I want to check out in a minute. Uh, but just here, pretty sure it's a tool. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's that's a hand axe -y thing. That's totally worked on all sides. I don't know if that's worth GPSing, but I, I know exactly where it was thanks to me, you're right? Yeah, right, well the hand axe thing was like, or the knife, I guess. It's, it's somewhere over there. And just here, super sharp. It's only the front end though. Really nicely worked arrowhead. Great shape. Thick too. Uh, yeah, spear point. Uh, that's probably the nicest one I've seen today. But I don't know. I don't know, these, I don't know if they were dropped on the lake, if they washed onto the lake, and then like because they're definitely moving around a lot. You see stuff like that. Like where's the other half? I don't know. Same issue with the meteorites. <laughs> anyway, 
Gotta check out this berm. Other half of that stone could be in it. It's close enough. <sighs> we'll see. That's a really tidy, tidy berm. All right, so we're still out here on this nice berm. Just wanted to show you gray meteorite. It has a texture. It's shiny like the meteorites with the same same degree of desert varnish, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's stippled. Shape and the corners aren't quite right. You can tell this was a rock that was wasn't depleted, it was rounded the wrong way. Um, and that stippled surface, instead of having metal grains sticking out, there are actually little indentations. You can get stuff like that on some meteorites, usually like COs or each chondrites with the tiny chondrules, but this just it's not right. Um, anyway. Fun wrong. Magnetic too, actually. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Right. Back to hunting. All right, guys. Well, this is future Jason. Um, turns out it was so windy when I shot this that you just couldn't make out anything I'd said. Uh, but pretty nice. Looks like the middle section of an arrowhead or tool. Um, not made of obsidian. This one's made of a fine grain rock. Looks like rhyolite. Uh, thought it was pretty... Worth filming, but unfortunately couldn't make out anything I'd said, so here we are. All right, well, we're still hunting in this kind of pseudo rocky stuff. A little less dense, but still a lot of rocks. Um, and I saw this thing, and we can actually read it. Another one. This is manufactured by Standard Oil Company. S A E, maybe? B, hard, I can't tell, it's B re. And there's a three, and then like a C or an O underneath it. Can't tell it doesn't left there. It starts with an S. Might be San Francisco. That'd be cool. Yeah, I wonder what that was. Can of oil? Seems unlikely, well, maybe. That puncture at the top actually looks intentional. It's maybe an air hole they're pouring out of the bottom. It's totally corroded away though. It was buried, so. Eh, kinda cool. I don't know what that is. I have to try and look it up later. Alright. Uh, onwards. More rocks. Uh, I'm still hunting around. Just check out this meteor wrong. It's great. It's, it looks like it has fusion crust. It's got that nice chip on the top. It's magnetic, but it's this weird kind of grayish purpley stuff. See, the smooth surface is all polished. It, it's not right. It's not desert varnish. It's, it's tumbled. See that? The contours aren't right. Doesn't look right. River stone. Actually, I'll, I'll take that and put that next to the flag for the one we just found. Still there. It's at least another hour direct light. Although, yeah, shadows are now three times longer than the things in front of them, so it's getting harder to check for color. We'll see. Still hope. Got a jar of dirt. <laughs> oh god, sorry. Um, that probably weighs a few tons. Uh, Fifty gallon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Anyway, biggest piece of junk I've seen out here today. Yeah, some little things of rocks. But still pretty clear out here. Yeah, yeah shadow's getting long. Ooh, what's that? That is writing on it too. It's a can of PBR! Kind of. Huh? <laughs> uh, that is so etched. I wonder if the other side is different. Sometimes they are. Nope, he's been out here for a while. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the paint's actually decent on the other side. Anyway. Uh, gotta look for rocks. Rock's car is over there somewhere. Yeah. All right. That. And well, we just saw that 50 gallon drum, and here's the next artifact thing we're seeing. Is that it? That's it. That is a really nicely flaked. Even part of an arrow heady thing. Yeah, I don't know how you get chips that fine, but that's. Nice work. Still sharp. I can feel it through the gloves. Yeah, back you go. <sighs> yeah. Not much else. I think I think the tools are a good proxy. Because if you're finding stuff out here on the surface that's hundreds or thousands of years old, you know, but any meteorites that fell out here in that time should also be here, right? Uh, or if artifacts would have washed out here or something, the meteorites would follow along too. So I think they're good to kind of note and see and pay attention to. Um, uh, yeah, good indicators maybe. I don't know, you don't see them on all lake beds. I don't know why that is. Uh, and yeah, even on lake beds, there's a lot of meteorites. Sometimes you find no artifacts. So. Maybe not a perfect indicator, but is that an arrowhead? Kind of looks it. Yeah, if it is, it's crude. Definitely worked along there though. Right? Can I focus? Yeah. Still cool. That looks like the whole tool. Yeah. Cool. Right. Ooh, not my thing. Alright. Well, maybe there are meteorites here. Let's see. Alright. Well, I'll tune out until something interesting turns up. Alright. Bye. Guys, well, I stand by my decision now. This was good to, have to check the area. See, the other find is over there by the car. We're in this kind of sparse, rocky stuff. This chonker. Ah, oh, he's a beauty. Big. Oh, it's right. It's right. There we go. Look at those contraction cracks. Ah, oh, he's a nice rock. He's got dimples. I think this one's actually complete. Yeah, he looks it. Oh, it's a nice meteor. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Look at that guy. He's so sharp. Well, round, but anyway. Ah, nice. And that's a pretty good size. That's, uh, sorry, for scale, I think it's 80 grams. Hard to say. You know, it might go down a little bit too. All right, well, okay. Um, I gotta do photos for this thing because the light's getting pretty bad. Gotta get back to the car, gotta leave the cane to park it. Alright, well we're here back at the, the flag and mark that is for the last one. I guess I picked up something on the way back. I'm trying to figure out how old it is. I don't know. It looks oldish. It's a Remington 12 gauge shotgun thing. I'm just curious. The inside's totally gone. It's like some cardboard stuff there. That looks like iron, which is weird. I don't think they're made of iron anymore. Uh, anyway. Kind 
Kind of cool. Looks old, looks pitted from the sand. That should be enough to date it, I think. And uh, just get some water and drive out to that pretty stone we found. Oh god. I think. That far away, really? No. Well, we'll figure it out. Alright, well we went to the wrong dead bush, but looked around a little bit, and there's that big coffee can right there that we saw just behind us, so it's going to be this bush over here, yeah, there's the magnetic stick, and that chonker of a rock down there, yeah, it was the meteorite, ah, nice, alright. GPS, photos, all that stuff. I might actually get the nice camera up, but this one's a nice rock. Um, probably should. Water, then all that. See you in a minute. It's weird to find stones big enough to have ripple lips, I'll say that. Yeah, this guy actually has some. Not bad. Not half bad. Wow. Alright, that's fine for today. So far. So here's our next find. Um, really pretty stone, good size. Uh, it's a low iron chondrite, but there's not much to see other than fusion crust and rigmoglyphs. It's a nice complete stone. Uh, on the back side here, the crust is a bit thicker. You can see it did that weird kind of polygonal cracking up near the top. That's a little interesting. Um, but uh, not much to see other than fusion crust. It's just a really pretty complete stone. Uh, we got about a half hour of light left. We'll probably do a wrap up in a little bit. Maybe we can lay out the finds and stuff and see what they look like all together. Yeah, I'm so happy that they turned out the way it did. There was that gap after we found the first four little guys, right? And I was just walking around thinking, well, maybe we won't find anything else today. At least we found something, that's great, but like rough to get it all in one go like that. Like, find everything within half an hour or an hour and then <laughs> nothing else nothing before nothing after like woof um, this, this turned out to be quite a nice day slow morning but I can't complain <laughs> uh, yeah I cannot complain all right Sun's not so hot. Light's pretty nice. Yeah, you can see again. You can actually see color. I like that. Anywho. I think we'll 
we'll keep hunting for a little bit longer and uh, head back to the car. Yeah, there's a big rock. And there's some broken glass over there that could be some interesting history stuff. You know if anything else turns up. All right, guys. So still twilight. You can see the sun is still setting for the people over there. There are no people over there. People over there. Uh, but we got this great light. Really pretty out here. Um, still a bunch of rocks. The car is somewhere. It's over. Somewhere over there. You can just see it. There's an angry raven somewhere over there. Um, I think I'll loop around to it and then probably hit the road. It's getting dark. And yeah, it's getting dark. You, you really gotta be, it's tough. You've gotta be right on top of the rocks to see what they are now. Like that one, no. No, no, no. See, you gotta be within five or 10 feet. All that dense out here. That doesn't look bad. It's too big though, isn't it? Yeah. No. That would be nice. Jesus, that would be nice. So that's a weird can. Look at that. That's not modern. It's not normal. For today's day and age. That looks good, even from here. Why does that look so good? Oh, because it's freaking rusty metal. Ah, ah the color was uh, rusty brown. Ah, literal rusty brown. Uh, Stuff out here. There's so many can pieces. Can, can. <sighs> Anything else? Oh, I could GPS that thing over there. No, I got something else to do. Holy cow. I just found a meteorite filming. <laughs> nice. That's, that's a nice rock too. Woo. That is the first meteorite I have ever found on film. Ah, he's so nice. He's just like the other one. Well, I, I gotta come back here. This is solid. What time is it even? 8.35. Alright, um, I'm gonna cut here, get back to the car, check all the rocks to get back to the car, because it's a good area. And, yeah. Alright. Uh, guys, so we just got some photos of this guy in the ground. It's getting dark, so I'm just gonna pop him up here with you. Oh, he's chonks. He went down into the crack a little bit. That's great. Oh, nice rock. Alright. Um, so, great. Uh, we recorded this. I think I'll do a little roundup maybe back at the motel or something. Just 
laying out the finds and stuff because it's already getting pretty dark out here. I'd like to get food. Real food. I think I heard real food today. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, so. <laughs> Say cheese. Um, oh, I don't need the hat anymore. Oh, that's nicer. Um, till a little later. <laughs> Ugh. All right, well, this stone has great fusion crust. Um, the chip doesn't really detract. It just kind of shows you that there's something else under it, which I kind of like. Um, the other side is actually kind of interesting. So you can see this is still fusion crusted, but the surfaces are kind of knobbly. And there are all these straight lines, these edges, these corners. Um, that's due to a much later atmospheric break than like the last stone we found or even the other side of this stone. So we'd call this secondary fusion crust because it broke up a little later in the atmosphere and the sides were still ablated. They were still smoothed out by friction, um, but not as much as the other sides. And like the corners, they were a little bit rounded, but they weren't smoothed out into, into round faces. Uh, pretty good example. Yeah. <laughs> Well, y'all are probably going to believe this, but I was just picking up rocks to make a pile. And, uh, where is this darn thing? I haven't talked to the cane because the cane was over there, but, uh, this sucker. <laughs> uh, that's another meteorite. <laughs> what was that, 20, yeah, 30, 40 feet. It's another complete stone, too. Well, that nah, might be broken on the bottom. Well, whatever. It's certainly not like a piece of the other one. I mean, it could have broken up in the air, but... That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, I gotta do more pictures, and one sec. Alright, so here we are. Hopefully, the last stone of the day. Uh, yeah, broken bottom. Interesting. Rest is crusted. Nice stone. Again, yeah, can't complain. Oof. That's probably 35 grams, I would say. Not bad. Alright. I don't know how many that makes for the day anymore. Um, I really... Well, I can get frozen mac and cheese in the market. That's gonna be it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, a few more pictures, then uh, I'll hit the road. Alright, so this stone has pretty rough fusion crust, magnetism is really high, it's definitely a high iron chondrite, and even though it's not really oriented, it's not like a heat shield or anything, you can see there's actually a lip up at the top there and on the left side, so as this thing was coming down, molten material is kind of flowing around, which is pretty cool. And on the back here, you can see that it's pretty rough, uh, which is unusual for the H chondrites on this lake. So like the third and fourth stones we found today were pretty roughly textured. They were kind of porous stones. This one's also porous, but it's unrelated, totally different meteorite. It's got much more iron. So I wound up getting back at like 11 or 12 after a really long day. It was too late to do a wrap up. I snapped a quick photo just to <laughs> um, show the family and Krista how well the day had gone. And here's the fancy version. So without analyzing things, it's a little hard to tell. 
Um, but I think all these meteorites are pieces of between three and five different meteorite falls just by kind of testing magnetism, looking at texture, that kind of stuff. Um, nothing too rare. Definitely some pretty stones here, and the total weight's like 300 grams, so... <laughs> Great day.